What is up, everybody? This is Chill JMU 2K5, along Hermit ENT, and we are about to do episode two of Naked Man Chill. So today's episode, we're kind of more focusing on who is Chill. So I'm going to be answering some of your standard interview questions. And at first here, you know, I'm just going to give you my basic who is chill. You know, I'm from New York, and I've had a crazy life. I've seen a lot of ups. I've seen a lot of downs. Probably more of both than most people. Sometimes I'd be feeling like I'm 90 years old and all, and I'm only 27. But, uh, yeah, so I took that, and I brought it into music, and here we are talking right now the rest of that i'll get a little bit more into when we start talking these official questions so first question everybody's usually gets is you know where'd you grow up where are you from well i'm from long island new york or some say in the rap game strong island but um in some of my earlier music, you know, if you do listen to it, you might see that in a few songs I had dropped, I was from Brooklyn, that's where I grew up, and this is actually what I had thought during that time, but I uh, always had some issues with my mother, and uh, she always lied to me about stuff, and there's a lot of things that I believed that didn't actually happen up until, you know, even just a year or two ago, but uh, we got a lot of issues there, and some of my more personal records go into that if you want to know more about that, so just go check those out. But uh, yeah, I grew up here in Long Island, went off to college down in Virginia, I spent a lot of time in the DMV, and that was some great times, met some great people to work with musically. That's really when I started rapping, when I was in Virginia. Uh, when I was here, I didn't even think about being a rapper. I was I went to Virginia, and it was my first time really have to, having to be out hustling alone. You know, like here back in New York and Long Island, at least I always had somebody out by my side while I was hustling. But there, I was stealing, robbing, doing whatever I could just to survive some days. And that uh, I just needed some help, I guess getting through the days sometimes because shit was getting so crazy and so I led to the mic and I just opened up my heart and gave the mic my therapy session basically got whatever I needed to off my chest and felt a lot better and even the first time when I was making my first album The Chill Factor and making my first project child uh, crew volume one like i didn't even think it was gonna go much more past that but everybody heard around me that i knew heard it and they all loved it and they convinced me to keep going and here we are years later and i'm still going and now i'm back here in new york on strong island you know so that's question one Let's see, well, question two, my musical background. Well, don't have all that much, but when I was younger, I did uh, sing in the choir a lot in my area. I grew up playing the piano. They actually wanted to send me to a special school because I was able to play the piano by ear so well at such a young age, but my family couldn't afford it, so we never did that. Uh, always loved music, so kept on going with that and went to school for audio production. And that's what led me to the DMV area, as I was talking about before. And after that, I became a rapper, and here we are. That was a quick, easy one. Let's go to question number three here. Um big influences and some of my favorite musicians just a little bit of a hard one because I listen to everything from rock country to rap and different types of rap 
from lyrical stuff to more of your modern trap to your smoking rap to southern rap, west coast rap, all the different styles, all the different flows. Definitely one of my biggest influences when I'm making an album or a mixtape dog, I have to say, would be 50 Cent because one of the things that I always liked about his projects was that he was able to make a mixtape or an album and include so many different styles but still have it flow together as one album as well as you know each song being an individual song and a lot of rappers I feel anyway have that issue of being able to do that especially nowadays like most albums that I check out nowadays I'd be taking a couple tracks off of it and putting it on my phone and that's it I don't remember the last one to whatever you know how many songs is on there going to my album uh, next question what do I think of the hip hop scene now well the hip hop scene now is on a little bit of a low but I feel all music is a little bit at the moment you know we're, we're still trying to find out the, the real style of this next big movement in hip hop so we're still doing a lot of moving around and there's some stuff that I don't really mess with and all that but I try to listen to everything and give everything you know the benefit of the doubt and and keep myself aligned with the game to see what's going on with the game at the moment and to try to make sure I'm keeping up and there are still you know plenty of underground lyrical artists that are still sounding a little bit more of what I guess right now would be called the older sound you know my favorite sound personally but you know now it's a little bit more about the trap music and the trap style and all of that stuff so I still love the, the game I still love the scene I don't personally don't think it's as good as you know, when I was a little bit younger, but every generation is going to say that about music, you know. Uh, next question has to do with collaborations. Well, Chill's always down to collaborate with anybody that wants to collaborate and anybody that's got the time and is serious about it and is going to hit me up with the songs to, to, to work on because that's how I am as an artist. You know, you can see throughout the years I collaborated with many artists, some on the underground level and some even not. And it's all about just working with people and cross-promoting cross Just making some good music. That's what this is all about. Like, even if I never get anywhere personally, the fact that my music has helped so many people just makes it all worth it. So, if you really want to collaborate with Chill, just hit me up. And lastly, what inspires my music? My day-to-day -day inspires my music, depending on exactly what I'm writing. I'm inspired different ways, you know. I get a little stone before I make my stoner music. I, I, I think about my personal life and I make my personal music. I just think about, you know, the party life and if I'm making a party track or, you know, whatever the song is doing, I'm thinking about it because... I've experienced all that I'm writing about all of my life and part of the reason why I'm doing music and always will be doing music even if nothing huge ever comes of it and this is just something you're going to see on YouTube it's because even knowing that this far there have been more than 20 people that have hit me up saying that my music inspired them or help them through some shit or you know they love my music they're really fans it's inspiring them to make their music it's helping them get through their issues it's doing whatever it has to do just knowing that makes all is worth it 
because music's just, you know, like my upcoming EP is called Peace, Love, Music. That's, that's what life's all got to be about. So thank you very much for watching episode two of Naked Man Chill, who is chill. And make sure you check out my Instabam, 16 Bar Saturdays, Chris Chill Link. What up?